Hello, my exhilarating eggshells. It's ya boy, Zionic Blader, and today I will be comparing Darkest Dragonoid Core from Bakugan Battle Planet with its Season 2 counterpart from Armored Alliance. We will be comparing them in four categories their cores, their base stats and effects, their evolutions, and their use in decks. But enough talk, let's figure out which one is the better Bakugan. Category 1 The Cores. Darkest Dragonoid from Battle Planet has a core lineup of Fire Fist and Shield. The Fire Fist is the best damage boosting core in the game, while the Shield can give some OKB OK power boost and be used for gear reduction, making Darkest Dragonoid core from Battle Planet have a good core lineup. The Armored Alliance version, however, has a core lineup of Magic Shield and Shield. The Magic Shield is the best core for B power boosting. This is tough because both of these cores are the best boosting cores in the game. They are just different sides of the same coin. Because their secondary core is the same and the power level of their main core are the same as well, I will be making Category 1 a tie. Category 2 Base Stats and Effects Darkest Dragonoid from Battle Planet has a stat line of 404. With the inclusion of a Fire Fist and with a damage rating of 4, I would focus on going for a highest damage wins play as it reaches 10 damage when on a plus 6 Fire Fist, which is solid. Darkest Dragonoid from Armored Alliance has a stat line of 306 and with the Magic Shield its B power goes up to 950. This is pretty disappointing. If only it had a Fire Fist, it could do something. Because Darkest Dragonoid Core from Battle Planet is able to put more of a fight in base form due to its damage rating, it wins Category 2. Category 3 Evolutions Darkest Dragonoid from Battle Planet has a 4 cost Hyper Evolution, which is a vanilla with a stat line of 1006, which was pretty average back when it came out. I do wish it was cheaper and boosted the damage a bit more, however. The Armored Alliance Darkest Dragonoid has a 6 cost Maximus Evolution with the stat line of 1108 and the on play effect of looking at the top 5 cards of your deck and playing a gear card among them for free and then putting the rest of the cards back in any order. This is a decent effect and the stats are okay, however what ruins this Bakugan for me is the cost to play. This evolution is pretty niche so I would have preferred if it was cheaper to play. Both of these evolutions aren't very good, so it's a bit difficult to choose. However, considering the stats on the Maximus evolution aren't much higher than the Hyper evolution, despite costing 2 energy more, I am going to give Category 3 to Darkest Dragonoid from Battle Planet. Category 4 Use in Dex Darkest Dragonoid in Battle Planet was never worth using. While it did have an above average damage, the better choice was Darkest Hydrus Ultra, which at the time of its release was a Bakugan that could be played for either high damage or high B power, making Darkest Dragonoid less desirable. Darkest Dragonoid from Armed Alliance also isn't worth using in a deck. The best Darkest Bakugan are so much better in base form, and with gear reduction cores and playstyles like Rapid Fire, Maximus Dragonoid's free gear effect isn't even that worth it considering the cost. Also, this evolution is currently a blind box exclusive, which in the blind box only gives you one evolution, meaning you have to get super lucky to get a playset of this evolution or spend a lot of money. So while both of these Bakugan aren't very good, because Darkest Dragonoid from Battle Planet has a more accessible evolution, it wins Category 4, making it the better Bakugan. Anyways, do you agree or disagree with my choice? Let me know in the comment section below and be sure to hit the like button. Or don't, I'm not the boss of you. But be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya!